Good afternoon. Good evening. Welcome to the Julie and Milo show. Today is May 30th, 2021. My name is Julie. I am coming to you from Orange County, California. My dear friend, Milo. Milo, could you please say hello? Hey, how are you guys doing? It's Milo from Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you, Milo. Milo, we are such blessed people around the world because we get to sit down every day to talk to people that has the same vision, the same mission, and it all is because of On Passive, Milo. Today, you and I are so blessed and so honored to have the two doctors here with us. First, I would like to introduce Dr. Bill William. He has 40 years practicing dentistry with a mastership in Academy of General Dentistry. Mastership in the International College of Cranio Mandibular Orthopedics Board uh, um, Eligible of American Board of for Implantology. He is also an author of two international bestsellers of in dentistry on marketing, practice growth, and practice management. He is also a founder and a director of Soltis Dental Advisors the 5M Mastermind, and the 10K a Day Dentist Podcast. He is also an international lecturer, and he has done uh, as a mission team, as a mission team leaders for 15 trips across five countries around the world. I am so honored and so glad that I can call Dr. Bill as my friend, and I'm so glad that he's here with us. Let's bring Dr. Bill William to the stage. Welcome, Dr. Bill William. Hello, Julie. Hello, Milo. So good to be here with you again. All the on passive folks around the world, good evening. Good to see you, Dr. Bill. Thanks for coming to the show. Thank you, Dr. Bill, for being here with us. So glad you're here. All right, and, and uh, we'd like to introduce our other guests. It's Dr. Kin Kinano Shaw is practicing dentist, entrepreneur from Palm Desert, California. He's practicing in more than 300 office, offices. He has a Bachelor of Science in 2000 from Western Illinois University. He has a doctorate in dental medicine from Southern Illinois. He has an MBA from a Brandman University 2016. He is also the founder and the host for the Global Summit uh, Institute. And I'd like for you all to welcome Dr. Kanar Shaw. Hey, uh, thank you for having me on the show. Hi, Julie. Hi, Milo. Hi, Dr. Bill Williams. How are you guys? Good. How Hello, are you doing? Thanks for having us. Dr. Shah, it's so good to have you here with us. Thank you for your time. My pleasure. It was a very exciting time last time you convened. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I had an opportunity to visit you at your office, and I am going to make a plan to go visit Dr. Bill someday. But first, I'd like to ask my first question toward Dr. Bill. Dr. Bill, I have been following you, and I have seen you spend a lot of time fun time with your grandchildren. Tell me about it. Has it changed your life since they're coming, uh, moving back to the U.S.? Yeah, it's been really a game changer for me, a lifestyle changer. The two kids, they grew up in England. They were born there. They moved to Qatar in 2019. And then when COVID hit, everything shut down. And so I haven't been able to travel to see them. And they haven't been able to come here. So my little two and a half year old really doubled in size and his vocabulary doubled too. You know, he's got some, some cute words now. 
it's been a fun time. We spent a lot of time since he's come over to the United States at the parks at the swimming pool. Uh, my five and a half year old, you know, she's going to dance recitals and uh, starting to plan her next year with, with the first grade. She'll be in the first grade here in America. So we're getting them ready. They're assimilating. We even did uh, baseball today. We went to the baseball and watched the uh, Gwinnett Stripers go around and uh, play the team from Memphis. We um, watched the kids run around the bases. That was the fun thing for them to go out on the field after the game and run the bases. So it's been fun. I've learned to change uh, nappies as they call them in England. You know, the diapers, I think breakfast for kids, it's a, it's a new lifestyle, but I'm enjoying it. And that's what grandparenting is all about. Absolutely. I, I love all your posts and uh, you have such adorable grandchildren. Mm. Milo? There's nothing like grandchildren, uh, Dr. Bill. Enjoy them, man. And, and uh, I know Dr. Shaw, you got, you got small ones coming up, so enjoy them because i'm telling you you blink and it's over with and man it seems like they grow really quick but uh dr shaw i'd like to get get uh talk to you a little i know the last time we had you on the show we learned a lot about you and it was a great interview just a awesome interview uh you know and we talked to you about uh meeting with ash mcfarrow and how your meeting come out and i know you're working on a project uh give us a little bit about that project the idea is that uh, the healthcare industry has changed in the last several decades. And uh, we like to get it back to where it was a very friendly environment between a patient and a doctor and a big trust relationship. That's sort of faded away um, when third parties have come in. We've been isolated in our practices. So at some point, uh, doctors are all over the world. They're having... Uh, challenges in their lives and 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 uh, it's not what they envisioned it would be like to practice medicine and healthcare. Somebody had to step up at some point because for thousands of years it was us who uh, 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 perpetuated and grew this industry to what it is uh, as, as, as to healthcare and first do no harm and now technology enables us to do something that we could have never done before in history. Um, with what you guys are bringing to table and the things that we have discovered with you, uh, uh, it's possible. The possibilities are endless. So the plan is to, to combine forces, uh, create an environment where we can utilize artificial intelligence to bring a lean relationship between doctors who can subsequently care for patients. Absolutely. Um, and I know that there are so many... Uh, difficulties that the health professions are facing every single day. And you've just uh, mentioned about yours. What about Dr. Bill? What are you facing or what do you see other colleagues are facing the difficulties right now in your practice? Fragmentation is a big part of the problem in medicine. You know, we, we all grew up in different camps, different schools and, uh, we kind of feel like we should put our heads together and figure out why we're not doing as well as we used to do in terms of patient care, patient access, uh, profitability. Uh, there's a lot of middlemen who've taken part of the uh, pie and decided they want to take it home. And so it, it raises the cost of medicine tremendously. There's, there's an entry level problem where it's hard to get into the medical system, costs a lot. The education or medical training has gone through the roof, uh, not really equitable. And uh, a lot of things like that we're trying to remedy, which we'll hopefully cover during this time together. The cost and access will be number one and two. Absolutely, absolutely. Dr. Kiana Shaw, last time we uh, were together, you have talked about uh, doctor who have gone to school for years and years and years and they go out there and they do what they love, but yet uh, there are people sitting on the desk who have not gone to lengthy of education like the doctors, uh, but they are actually controlling how doctors can treat or how doctor can chart something. 
Could you talk a little bit about that and how do you feel uh, that what you're doing today can change that? All my friends and colleagues, your patience. There is an elements and interests and uh, a special interest that are uh, uh, thoroughly interfering with the patient-doctor relationship. You may not know that your doctor is a part of a corporation, part of some sort of a gimmick. The fact of the matter is the relationship should be between an owner doctor or someone that has authority in that capacity in a do doctor's office and a, and, a, and, a, and a patient. And this is a contract to care for the patient in their best interest. Uh, the problem you're facing, Julie, is because it could be my mom or my sister or my brother or my daughter or my friend, you, that goes to a doctor and there's like Dr. Bill Williams alluded to, a lot of people have their hands in the pot that have no fraternity to healthcare. For example, insurance started in the back of a grocery store. Now we are having to deal with patients only wanting to get care done that the insurance companies are wanting to accommodate. It's a whole upside uh, uh, system that doesn't need to be. And then you see, you know, you look around and you got an insurance company clocking in $230, $240 billion annually for, for what? For facilitating a, a transaction between employers and governments and patients. So we have to create ideas, which we're working on, that will uh, um, allow patients and doctors to exchange uh, monetarily uh, means, not by mining some Bitcoin out in the cloud, which doesn't create anything, but through labor and through, through, through an exchange system that we are, uh, we are looking at with uh, you guys and others and, uh, and perpetuating using technology to remove these third parties, then we can go back to the Hippocratic Oaths and the way it was 50 years ago when you went to a doctor. It was the same doctor. You saw the same doctor. You, you, you had The doctor knew your medical history or your medications you were taking um, and everything about you um, from the visits you've had with them. And that's something a corporation cannot replace but some guy sitting behind a desk. There's, uh, they don't have any idea, what even when they're sincere, what they're talking about. We are the doctors, we go to school for this, we get the training, and uh, we need to regain autonomy back in the healthcare. Because if doctors are doing it, they, 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 they do first no harm and then let's uh, somehow make money out of this. Uh, uh, so it's more important to stick with our uh, reason why we are in, her, in healthcare for the first place and not allow all these third parties to turn into a marketing function. So I, we believe that. Uh, we believe that with technology, we can achieve it. And uh, with what we have been doing with you guys, uh, uh, it's going to be something uh, for the history books. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I love where it's, it's going, you know, and uh, talking with you, man, gets me excited. And, and Dr. Bill, uh, talk to us a little about, the, you know, what's going to happen with all passive, how that's all going to come together. Uh, give us a, a little bit of your thoughts on that, how that's going to work together. Yeah, I, I saw the big picture of on passive when I first joined over a year ago, and I was already involved with Dr. Keanu Shaw and the Global Institute. The thing that we're doing is we're an educational outfit. We educate doctors. We bring doctors together to train each other. And uh, so we're connected to doctors, 30,000 of them all around the world, right? And what we wanted to do was to marry the, the power behind those doctors to the power behind the technology that on passive brings to the table. And so we sat down in a room together, Ash Mufarth and Gunnar Shaw and I, and we just basically said, what do we have in common that we can do to benefit one another? And uh, first thing that really came to mind was I knew that uh, education was huge and, and that on passive has put together a massive uh, educational platform that rivals anything that's out there, probably better than anything out there. And it's going to be one of our main tools to go into the workplace, into the school educational uh, sphere. Uh, it's called Academy and the teachers, the instructors of the world will be able to reach the students of the world uh, without any difficulty, without any challenge. It will be an automatically smooth system run by artificial intelligence. And 
it's going to have major, major benefits over what's out there right now. So that's kind of the first step into the foray of how to work together. But then it goes beyond that because that's one of 50 products and services and platforms that we have. And so we'll be talking about really a total business solution with on passive helping every business, any business, not just medical offices. We'll have HR management and hiring with those staff. We'll have accounting with O-Counting and O-Wallet. We'll have all the marketing with O-Lead, O-Mail, O-Post, O-Create, O-Tracker, O-Trim, and O-Net. Everything that's needed to bring more patients into a practice and, and market a practice, that's built into the system, all one price with on passive. And then you talk about communication with O-Connect and O-Chat and O-Peer. Nothing can touch what we're doing. It's all one uh, small fee, the cost savings to the medical practices all around the world will be huge. And there's many more benefits that we'll talk about later. Wow. wow. Absolutely. That's I mean, it's a, uh, that's, uh, that's good stuff. Really good stuff. So it's, like, it's got some, some best of the best technology applied to the places that need it most. Absolutely. You know, it's, it, every day it seems like it, it's, it gets bigger and bigger and better and better. And uh, Dr. Shaw, uh, going back to you, I remember talking with you last time about how this, is, this will help, you know, all the doctors and stuff like that. And, and there's tremendous advantages to this program. You know, you talk about Academy, you know, that's a, a a $325 billion industry in e-learning. And you're able to put that out there where you could do your trainings and stuff like that, uh, which is an incredible thing that I, I feel that would help doctors out. You know, you, you could talk to people all over the world, you know, specialists or whatever. And uh, the knowledge I think would be uh, very helpful. What do you say to that? I think uh, there's nothing really constant but change, and we must adapt to change. If you have all these systems in one location that can interact with each other, and all these great ideas with a wallet and a bless and our academy, and replacing all of these other concepts of, you know, social media and having having different solutions and different apps for everything in one place would uh, benefit anyone. But uh, when you make change and you go for a global industry uh, um, such as technology uh, uh, or, or healthcare, you will encounter a lot of resistance at times. And, uh, and to, to get for us in our doctor scenario, the way I imagine it, you guys are probably familiar with uh, Thomas Jefferson saying that the tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants, right? So when you want change, you're going to get a lot of resistance, but you got to fight it. And as long as you're persistent and people start understanding what you're doing, that's for the goodwill of, of, of not only uh, patients and doctors, but all the consumers at large with what our passive is doing, then uh, you have a case that will draw more and more and the noises start weeding out and it becomes a new norm. Uh, um, and uh, we uh, uh, need to put up that... Uh, that fight and uh, uh, keep consistent with uh, the plan of executing uh, uh, this for doctors as well as for uh, for uh, patients that this technology will allow us to do. Absolutely, thank you for that. Um, my question is actually for both Dr. Bill and Dr. Shar, and there's two part of my questions. So the first part of it, Dr. Bill, is that. What, what's the projects you are working on right now and how do you see what OnPassive is doing right now? How do you see that uh, OnPassive and the doctors can work together uh, based on the project that you're working on right now? Because I know you are, uh, you are doing a couple projects and, and you have been writing books about uh, doctors, but I really liked you to concentrate. Uh, tell us a little bit about your project and, that, and then how OnPassive can work together with doctors to actually um, more bring your project out to in place because all of us here having a goal to work together toward the better uh, or lift up the conditions of the human. So Dr. Bill first, and then same questions to Dr. Shaw after. Well, the personal project that I'm working on, of course, is uh, 
my dental practice. I still work in it one day a week, and I'm, I'm learning how to be very effective and efficient one day a week. And I've found that I'm more productive and more efficient working less. And I think that just goes to prove that scarcity does drive the, the market. I don't have quite as much trouble filling that day up as I used to have filling up four days, right? So it's, it's a good problem to have. And I'm, in, I'm enjoying working, but I'm enjoying looking to the time where I can uh, be retired from dentistry. And I'm turned 71 this year. And I really feel like my future is in uh, working with uh, teaching dentists and working with on passive to do things around the world. Uh, I'm working with Dr. Shaw quite a bit and we're putting together what's called the dream team to, to bring podinars together podcast webinars together for, for doctors to teach each other around the world. And uh, we'll host the, the Podnar and we will bring doctors in. And it's interesting that we're bringing in doctors of all persuasions, not just dentists. We got optometrists and physicians, chiropractors, pharmacists. So everyone that we are talking with, they're bringing something new to the table and we're educating one another. We've got a, uh, thing that's called the Universal School of Health that Dr. Shaw has put together. And that is a, a program to develop a doctor of healthcare business. And uh, he's uh, pointed me to the faculty of that, which I'm proud to help do what I can. And what we're doing is, is trying to grow the next uh, group of doctors to, who can run the business of healthcare themselves instead of relying on uh, third parties. Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Bill. And as a leadership council of On Passive, how do you see On Passive could work with you and the doctors and Dr. Shaw, of course? How do you see those two work together to, to uh, actually benefit what we are doing here? Well, the leadership council is kind of the guiding light that implements whatever Ash says uh, can be done, should be done outside the technology. The technology is done by the uh, engineers and developers in uh, Hyderabad, India, mostly. But the, the, the public face of El Paso right now is the Leadership Council. And um, what we do is attract people to El Paso. And we've been fortunate to attract uh, Dr. Shaw, Dr. Uh, Emily Latram, many of the doctors that are in the Global Institute, some institute are all part of OnPassive. So we're, we're seeking to have every doctor that joins um, in both groups to, to kind of co-mingle because each one has a powerful message and a powerful opportunity. And I think the opportunity for all the doctors is to find out how good OnPassive is. And we already know how good the, uh, the Global is the Global Institute is. Thank you, Dr. Bill. The same question for Dr. Shaw. Let me recap it a little bit. Uh, what projects are you working on and how do you see on passive can benefit or the other way around uh, to actually help the hurting world, Dr. Shaw? Well, first and foremost, um, we work for you for the benefit of doctors and patients exclusively. We have managed to uh, self-fund this operation since uh, the vision uh, was founded in 2013 uh, with uh, uh, zero intake from any uh, outside uh, source. Um, it was done by a group of doctors and enable us so we can enable you. Uh, for example, doctors that uh, uh, there are currently 27 projects going on at the doctor to doctor movement, hashtag doctor to doctor movement that pertain to different aspects of where we feel as, as, as a group of uh, um, experts in this field and industry that there's been infringement on the rights of patients and doctors. And we don't have any censorship. We don't hold back. We do not, uh, um, uh, we heed to the, to, the, to the rules of medicine and healthcare, not the corporate practice of medicine and healthcare. And uh, we have our own set of rules here. So autonomy is very important to us. Benevolence is very important to us. Uh, uh, no uh, monkey business in the back of a medical or healthcare uh, facility uh, is uh, uh, would be acceptable to us. 
Um, we now have our seal of acceptance that we are going to be issuing to organizations around the world. We believe do not up, do not infringe upon the rights of patients and the doctors. So uh, many of our projects that we are working, we're going to slowly start utilizing the, the on passive technology platform to create leaner solutions. Uh, very easily cut out the the the, the middlemen uh, um, that uh, sort of uh, uh, weasel themselves into. Uh, something they uh, don't have any fraternity to, and uh, the costs end up being uh, uh, at the at the helm of patients. Doesn't matter if you're in a social, in a in a, in a communist, and a free market environment. Wherever you are, there's only one right way and there's one wrong way, and we are there to 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 illustrate, demonstrate what we understand the right way is, regardless of who all these other people are trying to regulate us. So let's regulate the regulators. Uh, uh, let's uh, um, let's find solutions that will enable us mm. as as doctors and uh, as patients to work together, devoid of uh, all the, uh, for lack of a better term, the parasites that could over host uh, over overwhelm their host. So come and help us and let us help you. Uh, our network is growing all over the globe. Uh, uh, at this time, we have doctors coming in. It's a very easy. Uh, deep founded relationship between doctors. We need the technology and we need your help. So there is a couple of uh, QR codes up here and up here. This one right here, you can nominate any doctor that's a friend of yours, that's your, psycho your uh, psychologist, your physician, your medical, uh, uh, your internist, your, your optometrist, your pharmacist, your chiropractor, you can nominate them that, there or they can nominate themselves. And on the left side, uh, um, we have the link to uh, what we are doing under our 27 vertical concept that are going on. As we slowly unite, you guys roll out, we join one vertical after another. We're going to see if we can uh, maximize and just simply innovation creates the future and change. It's not uh, disruption is innovation. It's not that uh, you can fight the old and sit there and then, and, 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 uh, uh, everybody creates nothing by the time the legal battles are done. Uh, it's about innovation driving disruption and on passive and doctors uniting and the Global Summits Institute, their innovation that will drive this disruption. Oh, I believe it. And I mean, with on passive, we like to say that on passive is the correction to corruption, you know, and that's a, that's a good saying. It's a correction to corruption, you know, because we're trying to come up with a new way, like you said. So, Dr. Shaw, uh, I know me and you had kind of talked talked before about uh, how this was all going to work, you know. And, and uh, so, when the doctors come in and they get into the, to this, uh, it's not like uh, if the, someone tells you you got to have a, a an X-ray, but you don't really need it, you won't have to do it. Is that correct? Or if, if they tell you you don't need an X-ray and you need one, it puts it back into your hands. Is that correct? That's what you're we're correct. The definition of autonomy is having the right to self-govern. As a medical doctor, no one should be telling you what staff to choose, what hours to set, uh, what materials to buy, how to treat a patient, when to treat the patient, where to treat the patient. By laws, just in the United States, for example, vast, I think 47 states prohibit and prescribe the, the ownership of any outside party in a medical or healthcare setting, like mostly in dental, for example. So you have to consider that the patient is going to the doctor. They have no clue what's going on in the back. There could be schemes. There could be management companies pushing them to produce more every day, selling them things they don't need, uh, setting quota, ordering all the supplies from some country undesirable without any trace of uh, quality control and regulatory uh, oversight. This is the problem we have, Milo and Julie, and Doc is very well, obviously. We are going into a world of globalization where everybody's interacting with one. Doctors from Nepal, with doctors from the States, from doctors from Brazil, we're all talking and teaching each other. And these accreditation bodies and these banks and hedge funds and all the corruption they bring with them and, and all the lies they don't have to exist. Uh, they, they're, they're completely unnecessary. They could be uh, uh, made obsolete uh, uh, with leaner, better ideas come together, which uh, they're appearing to happen. And in a world of globalization, you need a global system that works. You cannot rely on local and regional and, and domestic laws and regulations because we're in a cloud. 
We are in the cloud. We can operate out of any location uh, uh, at any time. And then it becomes a little bit of a tough challenge for special interests to try to control something like that. Um, so that's why you say, yeah, the solution to the corruption. I, uh, I am uh, very excited about that. Yeah, that's a, and that excites me too, because I mean, it's, a, it's in every industry, it seems like, you know, and, and I believe that this will make a change in the, in the world and how things go. Dr. Bill, what do, you, what do you think about that also? It's important that we have a future of choice, not chance. A lot of doctors coming into the healthcare industry are, are along for the ride and they're not the one driving. They're pretty much in the back of the bus, just going wherever the, the overall healthcare model takes them. We're trying to reestablish a new healthcare model one that works better for patients, better for doctors. And, you know, having been in it for almost 50 years now, I've seen it deteriorate quite a bit. I used to could restore somebody's entire mouth for what it would be an annual insurance uh, benefit. Now I can restore one or two teeth. And so there's something wrong with that picture when you have something called insurance that doesn't pay for anything, but it costs more. And we, we look at the insurance company executives taking home 100, 200, 300 million dollars a year as an individual. That's a, a problem that doesn't exist in some places, but it does here. And we're trying to remedy some of these problems. Uh, there's a lot of problems that we got a hold of that we think we can make amends. We can bring medicine back to sanity the cost can come down, the access can open up. We're looking forward to technology really being a, a factor, but it's more than the technology, it's the uh, United Minds that will do the work. When we get our thinking hats together, there's more power among the doctors, among the members of OnPassive. We're almost 700,000 OnPassive members. And so we're a growing powerhouse and uh, we're going to be behind the, uh, the Global Institute. We're going to be behind the doctor to doctor movement. And uh, we have access and we have the uh, financial power to push a lot of things forward. Absolutely, Dr. Bill. I love you brought that number up because that's my next question. As you know, doctors, we have almost 700,000 founders. And I bet you, each of those founding member have one or two or three or five doctors, right? Yes, absolutely. And you know what? Maybe their dad, their mom have doctors and it take the power of the community working together to share a message. So the, my question first is to Dr. Shah and then to Dr. Bill. Dr. Shah, if I had a doctor that I wanted to share this message that we are communicating, how do I do that? How do I break into that to share? Or if it make it easy for you, if you could direct your message directly to your colleagues so that if we, 700,000 of us, go out there and share this, com this communication that we have so it may touch the colleagues of yours or the colleagues around the world, I would love for you to talk directly to them. So, okay, sure, I haven't done this one before, but let's say I'm the patient, you're Dr. Milo, you're Dr. Julie, uh, and uh, you're my chiropractor and you're my optometrist. I would say something along the lines of, hey doc, uh, uh, you know, we have, I, we have run into a, a program between doctors called the Doctor to Doctor Movement. It is uh, based on blockchain concepts that have uh, taken over uh, much of the financial sector and it's a direct relationship between doctors and they are creating solutions on a global scale for healthcare providers that will help us be able to get better healthcare. I would like to nominate you because I feel a very close relationship with you, uh, Dr. Milo, Dr. Julia. You have taken care of me over the years. I know you're a good person. You're a good-hearted person. You put your patients before, uh, before money and, 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 and before politics and before games. And I would like to nominate you to the world's top 100 doctors. Then I would turn around and give them the URL top100doc.com. Uh, and uh, it's very easy to find a nomination under there. It's a 10-minute project, uh, project. 
they get nominated, it goes into our system. And we create a place for all of the doctors that come in. We are open, our doors are open to all doctors. So we don't uh, uh, reject or deny any doctors. And money is not what we are after at, 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 at this institute. So that's another point you can emphasize to your doctor. It's not money that they're seeking. They're not giving out uh, $49 plaques. It's a real movement. And one of the 27 things that they're working on is this top 100 doctors program. Uh, they have continuing education. They're uniting all of the medical professionals together to once and all go back to the Hippocratic oaths that came out of Greece, uh, uh, where, where we are supposed to uh, care for patients and not uh, uh, these all these strange uh, organizations and figures that have popped up over and over in the last 50 years. So help us. Uh, uh, and if I was your doctor and a patient approached me in that kind of capacity, I would be like, hmm, this is interesting in looking into there, fighting for the benefits of me and, and my patient. Yeah, I'll, uh, and there's no money involved. There are no gimmicks. Yeah, why not? And then that's how we have been growing and growing and growing and growing and growing. So help us help you because we're going to use on passive several of our board members and chairs are, are on passive founders. You're going to end up using your product. So you enable us, we enable you. The end result is written on the wall. Uh, um, we would love to uh, have your support and you shall see that we deliver every time we make a, uh, uh, a project we end up delivering sooner or later it gets delivered every time thank you dr shah i've actually want to change a little bit with dr bill because dr shah created and 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 communicate the precise message for all of us to actually go out there to share but dr bill you are an on passive founder and the leadership council i actually would like you to communicate directly to your colleagues if you were to share on passive with them. Yeah, it's a real privilege to be a member of the Leadership Council. We, we have the inside story on a number of things, but for all the founders, there's 700,000 of us nearly, we all know that this is an IT company on passive that is founded by Ashmi Farah with a different vision to create something that's never been done before. And that is to have a, a company with a heart that is based on supporting the people who founded it. In other words, the founders, the developers, even the customers are gonna have a better deal than any other company has ever given that uh, group of people before. Typically it was always the founders, one or two at the top who took all the money and didn't share it with the group. And Ash wants to share it with the group. And uh, his vision is to create a million millionaires from the founders. And he wants to have uh, those people make a million Mother Teresas. So what does that mean? He wants the company to throw off enough profit to where everybody who's a founder is very well off, wealthy. And he wants them to have enough to live on to where they have so much excess that they want to do good and, and benefit others in the society. And so his heart is to replicate himself to do good around the world. And the way he does that is he creates the profit, he divides it equally among many people with an opportunity in being a founder. And then he sets up something inside of On Passive called Obless. And that's one of the, the main and his favorite uh, project where a portion of your income goes into a giving vehicle and it'll support nonprofits, NGOs, startup companies that are doing something good for the world. And when he does all this, he's replicated himself. He's felt like he's given back to the world. You know, it's not about money, it's about serving other people. And my wife and I have always taught our staff that if you serve people, the money will come. And so we're all focused on what can we do to serve others? And on passive, we've chosen is the way. Uh, on passive is basically going to make everyone who's a founder have a, a very um, free, free, free future where you don't have to worry about the time and the money. You can focus on the things you love. You can focus on serving people if that's your passion. Whatever your passion is, you'll have time for it if you're a member of On Passive. 
Absolutely. I love that, Dr. Bill. If you know, I like to say on the show all the time that uh, uh, on passive is changing the world one person at a time. And it started with Dr. or with Ash Maparo, you know, and now it's it's getting with the doctors even, you know, and it is going to change the way we do everything in the world. And I, I do believe, you know, that it, it don't happen overnight and we have to come to that point and, and work on it. But I do believe that it will change. It, it will change the world, uh, you know, when people uh, come to that realization that, uh, you know, and when we talk to people, you know, we always, you, you find out the founders start out thinking, well, what's it going to do for me? What's the income, you know, this and that. And then all of a sudden you, you get your heart and your mind uh, into this thing where it's, it's really bigger than that. It's a lot bigger than that. It's about, it's about treating human people as humans, you know, and, and being fair with people. And I, I, man, I just think this is great. What you're, what you're talking about, Dr. Shaw, and, and Dr. Bill, man, is, is awesome. You know, I think that you're bringing this to the front because it has been a problem. And I thank you so much for doing that, uh, you know. So it's going to really help the hurting world. Wouldn't you say so, Dr. Uh, Shaw? Certainly. Um, uh, when you uh, start taking in, this is what I love about this model that intrigued me is, it was not all about... Uh, uh, B Bill Gates or one person that uh, that invented something and then uh, it became the richest man in the world. It's about many people working together and creating something and taking equal ownership in it, which is a very unique model, sort of unprecedented. That is why it's going to grow and this is why it's going to succeed. And you say you believe it's going to change the world. Believing is going is going to be achieving. And Dr. Bill Williams says he foresees this to be a true winner. Uh, we all do. We, uh, we believe that it, uh, it can get the job done because of the unique nature of this, uh, this program that has been put together, but much needed. So uh, uh, we have to continue uh, uh, working on it and improving it and uh, it will blossom. My uh, mentor, Omar Reed, said if it's been done, it's probably possible. My other mentor, Ashmi Forrest, said it's a done deal. If it's a done deal, then it's already possible, right? So we're yes. we're winners, and uh, on passive has that saying: if you're in it, you're going to win. Now, where else can we go if we're a winner? That's right. You're gonna, you know, uh, it's very it's it's interesting you said that because uh, it's not just about one person winning; it's about the whole system winning. And this is what uh, uh, the option that we have here that can truly get done if uh, everyone participates. So uh, we are very excited. The doctors on our side are very excited. Um, what would you say? Uh, the, I think the charity component is extremely important uh, um, to reflect upon that. Uh, we can get a lot of good done with this uh, technology platform, which we also uh, are going to be doing with some of the verticals that we are working on that pertain to many, many uh, disadvantaged uh, uh, patients around the world. So uh, keep the solutions coming, we'll implement them on the healthcare side. Absolutely, I, I do think it's a done deal, you know, like you, Dr. Bill, I believe it's a done deal and it's there. We're just kind of waiting. I always say, man, it's kind of like, we're just waiting. We're at the NFL draft and we know we're the number one pick. We're just waiting to see whose team we're on. That's it, it's a done deal. You know, so I, I love it. I really do. Dr. Bill, did you have something else to say? Yeah, Milo, let me throw something out to you and Julie. I have a concept that I've been batting around for a while. If if a person bought into the concept that on passive as a founder is an income center, and it is definitely an income center when you buy a position, what if you bought a position for your family? We talked a lot about having a family legacy and having a position for every one of your family members, your children, your grandchildren. But what if you took it to your dental practice, your medical practice, your chiropractic practice and said, I'm going to buy a position for my practice and I'm going to dedicate it to paying for the overhead and for the staff salaries and for the staff bonuses. And what if you took another position and said, I'm going to dedicate this to charity. I'm going to dedicate all the income 
to give it away free medicine, free dentistry to the people who can't afford it. Now, I have a vision that on passive produces the profits in an automated fashion where we don't have to do anything because that's the model we have. What if we have the income coming in to the family of the doctor, to the practice and all the staff and to the unserved? That's a model that could be utilized among the medical profession, getting three different positions and it would serve everybody was so well. So I just want to mull that over and see if you think that would work phenomenal to include Obless as the third position that people buy. I do. I mean, I've, I've been saying, you know, hey, why not get these positions and, and help people and bless them, you know, and I think it's going to, I think it's going to change the, change the world, you know, the way that it goes. And, uh, you know, if you give, even if you give someone a spot, you know, you buy them a spot, well, all of a sudden that could cover all their medical bills. You know, you could give them one for medical bills. You know, you could do that. Same way with you were talking about your doctor. I think that's a great idea. Instead of giving your doctor a Christmas gift, why not buy him a spot? Let him, uh, let him enjoy the benefits of all these different programs. And he joins in, he's able to help you know, and I think it's it, when it comes to giving from the heart, you know, you just can't out give it. You know, uh, when you give from your, your bucket, all of a sudden your bucket grows bigger. You know, it's amazing. And what we've wanted to do, a lot of us wanted to do all our life and not been able to do it. I believe we're going to be able to do it. No, you want to go overseas. You can do that. You can fix people's teeth overseas. You can do whatever you want to it at this point, you know, because I do believe that as you expand out, it just expands your bucket to give away. Julia, sorry, I, I kind of took up a lot of time. Go ahead, Julia. <laughs> no, actually, it's it kind of excited. funny that we, we all kind of thought the same thing because I sent out a message. I said, let's talk about the charity. And then Dr. Bill brought up Oblast and then Dr. Shaw brought up charity. And then you guys talk about, so it's perfect. We're all in the same place. There's only a certain amount of money that we all need. So I know that each and every one of us who has a charity goal, that, uh, that you have in mind or you planning to do or you have already started. So Dr. Bill, I know that you have done so many missions, 15 trips to five countries. Let's talk a little bit about your charity that you are planning to do or you are currently doing. And that would be the same message, uh, same question to Dr. Shah as well. Let's talk about charity because at the end of the day, we only need certain amount of money or I guess wealth but there are other people across the world that need that help. So Dr. Bill, start with you. Yeah, there's a saying in, in uh, medicine, see one, do one, teach one. Well, I saw a mission in 1974 and went on that. I led one in 2001 through 2012, and then I've been on several others. And so I think for me, teaching about missions might be in my future. You know, leading a few missions may be good. Uh, a mission trip is, is what I warn people about is if you, if you uh, think you're gonna go out and just do a mission trip, you're not, you gotta prepare. It's a job and you got a full-time operation getting ready for it. Somebody's got to be, put a lot of work in. So you need to learn from somebody who's done it. And so that might be something that will be done in the future. And then from that point, then uh, it's better to uh, teach somebody to fish than it is to fish for them. And if you can show people in a local country how to meet the needs of the people in that country, and uh, you're better off. And I think what we've got with uh, the doctors to doctors group. We'll be showing people in places how to do things much better. And that'll be the sharing that we have to, to do all across the world. And we can do it from the comfort of our home through Academy. We don't have to be in the classroom over in Uganda to teach somebody a technique. Absolutely. Dr. Shara, what's your thought on the charity portion of it? 
I have traveled to uh, over 60 countries for different reasons. I've been to uh, quite a few mission uh, related uh, scenarios, but everyone is able to go. It's not just doctors. They always need support staff for one task or another. There are uh, religious organizations that do it. But from all my world travels, what I've learned, because my dad used to take us when we were younger, then we were in Europe, and Middle East, and North America, and, and on and on we traveled. And uh, humans are just inherently good people. Uh, you take out all of the things that divide us, borders, r religion, ideologies. Humans are, uh, in nature, good-hearted people. Uh, but it is the conditional environments that change us. And uh, if they had the opportunity that some of us had, they would be in a better situation than some of us are in. So we take those things for granted and we don't see what uh, uh, the real world could really be like because the vast majority of the world is not wealthy. They're living, uh, um, uh, vast majority are living out of a few dollars a day. Uh, that's how they manage their lives. So, uh, Humanity at the end will prevail. Uh, uh, we're all going to inhabit this planet one day or none of us will. Um, so it's always better to be on the right side of the fence. Uh, what goes around comes around. Karma is something like a boomerang. So you put a, you put a dollar out or you put one uh, project out or product or some of your time and it returns to you in multifold in ways that you have never imagined. Um, so any of us can uh, participate in char charity operations or do goodwill things uh, for others with good intent, you will prevail at the end. This world is still uh, worth fighting for. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, man. I love you guys' heart, you know, and, and to see people, uh, you know, think that, think like we do too also, you know, and it's just, it's fun. And when you think about the, the possibilities, and, you know, right now, I think only 60% of the world gets the internet. What happens when 100% gets the internet, but they're able to make transactions across the world? They're going to be able to better themselves. They're going to be able to, you know, places that maybe didn't have dentists or didn't have doctors will now have dentists and doctors, you know, and uh, it's just going to grow uh, tremendous. And, and you know, I, I love talking with you guys. It's going so fast. So we are out of time. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it back over that way to Julie. And, and Julie, why don't you wrap it up and take us out of here? We're, uh, we're running on the end of time here. Absolutely. Thank you, Milo. Thank you, Dr. Beal and Dr. Shaw. But you know what? I have the last question. I, I can't let you guys go yet. So you know that the Julie and Milo show is dedicated to the founders. Okay. And I understand that there are doctors out there that have not been in on passive, has, have not become an on passive founder, but yet at the Julian Milo show, I do have a health theory that I need all the doctor to help me with, but I cannot bring them on until they become a non passive founder. So I need both of you to actually help me directing the message to your colleagues and let them know that uh, they could absolutely come to the Julian and Milo show and share their knowledge. Because at the end of the day, what goods it is, if we have lots of money in the world, but our health physically and mentally, our dental health is deteriorating. So it would be great if you could direct your message to your colleagues and let them know that they got to be a founder of On Passive, and then come to our show and share their knowledge with 700 thousands of us, and yet it will become hundreds and millions of people in On Passive. So start with Dr. Shah, if you could um, direct those messages to your colleagues. Yes, so uh, by coming onto the Julie Milo show, ideas tend to flourish and new ideas come about. So if you have products, ideas, services, uh, um, teachings that uh, you believe may be of uh, benefit to commerce at large to create leaner systems more affordable systems more sustainable systems bring those ideas and let our friends at on passive and it's uh, close to 700,000 tech and uh, and then professionally savvy uh, uh, founders uh, come up with solutions and let's build and let's build more and more and more 
and uh, and uh, get uh, uh, get the uh, get the world where it needs to be placed. If you are going to be a multi um, a multi uh, planet species, like Elon Musk likes to say, uh, we can't have this much infighting down here. So <laughs> let's uh, let's unite and uh, look for bigger and better things. And you can bring your shows here. You can contact Dr. Williams or myself uh, uh, to connect you with uh, uh, Julie and Milo. And uh, once you guys are in the show, you'll likely get exposure to a vast network of uh, the social media pages that we have to our colleagues. So your message will be heard, especially our doctor colleagues. So yes, we highly encourage it. Dr. Bill? Yeah, you know, your health is your wealth. On Passive can help you build your wealth so you can purchase your health, so you can find your health care provider. Sometimes you, you need uh, a connection, and uh, this, this particular network of doctors is connected all over the world. And so if you need help, we may know somebody who can help you. So that's a point that's not to be lost. A vast, vast network, maybe the biggest network when it's done in the whole world of doctors, number one. It's an opportunity to come on the Julia Milo Show, doctors, to speak to the public in a potential group that could be your patient base in your city. You know, you, it could make you the number one chiropractor, optometrist, physician, dentist, pharmacist, in that company, in that country, in that locale, in that state, in that city. So public uh, awareness of people that have a good heart, you know, that's the type of people who join on passive people with a good heart. And so we're, we're looking for people like us to join us in doctor to doctor. We want doctors that are pure at heart, who have altruistic motives and who really are patient advocates. So come on board the Julia Milo show and support Julie's quest for, for doctors to expand upon the knowledge to the public. Thank you, Dr. Bill. Thank you, Dr. Shah, for your time being here with us. Milo, any last word? Just thank you for coming to the show. I enjoyed it so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, There's going to be a link, a link to where to join, right? Yes, uh, we actually going to put a link on um, when we have this out. And that's something that uh, Dr. Kiana Shaw and Dr. Will will provide that. Um, doctors, if you need a complete digital online solution for your business, on passive could provide a complete digital solution that is automatically done for you. It's 100% using artificial intelligence help bringing 100% targeted traffic to your tool, services, education, anything that you're doing. And not only that, it will take care of all the bills that you have to deal with daily. So on passive is that solution. On passive is always deliver and always over deliver. And yes, if you join Dr. Kiana Shaw and Dr. Bill in their doctor's network, you'll be able to uh, meet the missions that you put out, the goals that you put out there to help other people. I am so blessed. And I know Milo's thinking the same thing to have both of you here with us. Really appreciate your time. And uh, if you hear this message, this conversation, please get back with Dr. Shah, Dr. Bill, myself or Milo. If anyone share this message with you, please get back with that person and ask for the invitation link to be in on passive or ask for a link to nominate you to be the, doc, the top doctor in the world. Thank you so much for watching the Julie and Milo show. As always, please stay well, stay healthy, stay alive, and go out there and take care of yourself and take care of others. Good night from Orange County, California. Good night well, from Suwannee, Georgia. Good night from uh, Palm Desert, California. Thanks for having us. Good night from Nashville. Listen to the stories and how they tell. When they join another doing so well. Telling us what it's all about today. And how they are loving that old passive way on passive. Here today on passive. No better way. Listen to the Julie and the Milo show. So then you can be the very first to know on passive.